The headquarters of the Donbas Self-Defense Forces reports that Ukrainian forces are preparing to resume their assault of Novorossiya. According to intelligence gathered by the Self-Defense Forces, a large shipment of ammunition and armor will be delivered to Ukrainian forces in the town of Chuhiv, in the Kharkov region. The Ukrainian army will receive up to 50 tanks, 40 APCs and 20 self-rappelled guns. Ukraine is also massing troops near the front line with the Donetsk and Lugansk republics. A unit up of 150 National Guards was sent to the town of Krasnodar. Armies located 44 kilometers northwest of Donetsk. Ukrainian troops are actively torturing their captives. The Ukrainian authorities actively use torture practices, inhuman treatment which violates human dignity. They are using techniques such as burning flesh with red hot objects, forced crossing of minefields, simulated shooting, throwing prisoners into pits with dead bodies, waterboarding, and so on. Russian Foreign Ministry's human rights ombudsman Konstantin Dolgov said, referring to data provided by the Fund of Research of Democracy Problems. We remember on November 20, the UN issued a report report expressing concern over continuous and serious human rights abuses documented in the Ukrainian Southeast against a background of numerous ceasefire violations. According to the UN figures, over 4,300 people were killed and almost 10,000 injured in Southeast Ukraine between mid-April and November 18. NATO is not ready to develop equality-based cooperation with Moscow in countering real security threats in the Euro-Atlantic region, the Russian Foreign Ministry said Wednesday. We realized with deep regret that NATO officials remain hostages of their own politicized approach and they are not ready to build cooperative ties with Russia, based on equal rights and aim to take in joint action against real threat and imaginary threats to security in the Euro-Atlantic region, the ministry said in a statement. There has been an accident and a nuclear plant in the southeast of Ukraine, Prime Minister Orsini Yatsenyuk has revealed during the first session of his new cabinet. A minor accident occurred at Zaporozhka, a nuclear plant, the largest in Europe. A third reactor was switched off and put to maintenance as a result. The International Atomic Energy Agency told Reuters it had no comment to make on the Zaporozhka accident so far. An international convention adopted after the 1986 Chernobyl disaster in Ukraine obliges countries to notify the IAEA of any nuclear accident that can affect other countries. But how fast they must do it. We remember Ukraine announced its intention to replace the Russian fuel with the American one. But this experience has ended poorly. Viktor Yushchenko tried to replace bad Russian nuclear fuel with good American by a Westinghouse company, which almost ended in a nuclear accident. And we see results of it now, don't we? We thank our friends for their help in spreading this news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.